Well, it's a new type of learning that is turning the high school experience upside down. Stella Cuisto with a unique program that allows students to choose what they study and how much time they spend studying it. I'm definitely nervous because, you know, there's the fear of the unknown. Mariah Rodriguez and the rest of the grade nines here at Don Bosco are wrapping up their first year of high school. But when they come back in September, school won't be the same. Don Bosco is adopting a new system for grade nines and tens next year called self-directed learning. They have eight subjects like any other student in the province of Ontario have in high schools, but they make choices as to where they're going to go, what their day is going to look like. For example, a student can take two periods of history to study for an exam or use a day to solely focus on a science project. It's completely up to them. It's an excellent model of learning that excites us here. Don Bosco isn't the first school to adopt this method of learning. Mary Ward here in Scarborough is one of the two schools across the province that has been teaching self-directed learning for years. And it knew what I had to prioritize. Tharani Tharaparan is not in class at Mary Ward today because she's actually finished her entire course load for the year. I was able to work and balance my extracurriculars and then focus on what I want to do. And then so I was able to finish things faster. Self-directed learning means there are no semesters. The students have 14 months to finish a course and they even have the choice to go to school for five years instead of four to finish off any lingering work. They get more time so less fall behind. I just picked it up. I went really fast and finished my courses before they're actually supposed to be finished. Teachers and teaching assistants are also there to help and make sure the students stay on track. If you're a fast, disciplined learner, then you'll just blend into it fine. Um, if not, then you'll, you might have some difficulties, but it's, it's not a hard system to adjust to. And for those getting ready to adjust to a new system next year, some words of advice for the kids who've been there. Try to work at your own pace. I mean, it's, it's good to get ahead, but as long as you keep up with target dates, then I think they'll adapt pretty well to it. While grade 9s and 10s will be first to transition to this new model of learning, by 2016, the whole school will be self-directed learning. At Don Bosco, I'm Stella Cuisto, City News.